Exactly, I but it had to the four side. I go on past I go on past that the four I go the four side. Not out. I I I I score five in the past month. Now the only about three three sixty something. Three sixty something, yeah. No Sir, so Junior Rigrello, who wear many hats this evening and wearing the hat of the leader of Skiffle Bunch, the leader or the manager of the band, and we are gathering for our normal annual Boxing Day line. This line has been going on since 1974 when the band first started. As a tradition, the members assemble here, not only members, but the immediate family, fathers, mothers, grandparents, we all come here and we just really enjoy the day. Camaraderie, good, good, good camaraderie, friendship, fellowship and have fun, plenty fun. Uh, we just saw a young lady enter because she's studying abroad. She said to surprise her parents and come home for Christmas. And they said her parents are also away. <laughs> so she's also part of the family and she's a member of the Youth League. So Joshua, my son, who's the chairman of the Youth League, invited her over. So this has become her family for the Christmas. Tell me, when did the transition from bunch to orchestra took place? Uh, when, we, when we became a convention over the years, what we found uh, and comments we have been hearing from people is that bunch and songs like uh, like a traditional band, and we need to move, go through that transition of being, you know, um, a, 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 re a serious band as opposed to what we were many years before. So I think Skiffle had, it has to stand on its own as a threat, as an institution, as opposed to Skiffle bunch. You know, it's too much. We want to make it easy, easy on the tongue, you know, easy to say. Is it the feel? Okay. Have you decided what tune you will be playing for Carnival? They are contemplating it. It will be one of those pieces by voice. Uh, so they're looking at that and for consideration. That is going to be the about next couple of days. What, what kind of strings are you looking at this year? Normal as a, as a, as a 100 plus uh, large band. The large band is where the action is, is where, is where the attraction is, is where the real challenge is, where the competition is. And that's where you need to make your mark. So we're staying in that, uh, in that category. Who's going to be the arranger? The three guys from New York came last year, the year before. BSO. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Good luck. Well, you're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs>
supported this band for over 30 years and you know and the band was always you know a part of the community and they did they did well over the years from Pan Rong Neck and to go to from conventional yeah from Skiffer Bunch to just yes, Skiffer Did Orchestra Orchestra and you know conventional large band and then the large band category and they have a close unit and thing everybody will call for one another and so on and thing and I always there to support my children, me and my wife. She's not here now, mm -hmm. but we always support our children. One plays, this is the bass player here, mm -hmm. and the other one plays tenor. And she went out and thing. But we're looking forward for a successful 2018 next year, Panama. Okay. Right? Cool. And have a Merry Christmas and a bright and prosperous New Year. Ribbit. Right. Introduce yourself. I'm Chelsea Parrot. Um, I've been with the band, playing with the band for about five or six years. Uh, my sister, she has been playing with them much longer and that is how I was introduced to the band. Um, the Skiffle family is a very close-knit family. We all support each other, look out for each other. Just try to be there during the panorama season to get each other going, sharing music. Just to just be a big family, just to be successful for the panorama season. So, yeah, that's it. What pan you play? I play the seven bass. How, how long? Uh, since I was about ten, so about ten years. You were a baby then. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't say baby, but I started playing really young. Skiffle cool had um little bunch. Yeah, that was used, grand school time. Yeah, I used I and then they had a summer camp 
during the holidays, mm. I used to play with the kids at that point in time and then well about six years ago I actually joined the band for panorama stage to play side. with them no i'm not, not stage not side. i just, just play for panorama yeah what's so, the attraction to the bass it's i i just find a bass line is very sweet uh, the melody it's yeah i mean tenor and double tenor they're nice and stuff but i love my bass it's That'd be it. It's a, it's a different kind of vibe. So, I just, uh, I'm very passionate about my bass. So when Scrunter did the tune, the woman on the bass, was he thinking of you? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, I, I, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Probably, but, yeah, I love my bass fan. So how do you see yourself in the next five, ten years? You mean with the with the band? Culturally and academically. Um, well, culturally, uh, well, I play mass and I play well, I play pan as well. I don't see myself stopping that in the next five years. Um, academically, I I see myself moving forward. Would need positive things, no looking back. So, I'm. Um, trying to be a progressive person to keep moving forward so yeah are you pursuing a career path as yet yes i am what would this be? i um currently but well, i work at sasha cosmetics and i'm uh you could say i'm a makeup artist in training i would like to go into skincare down the eventually down the line but right now i'm building a foundation for myself with work so that's why I'm working right now and not in school so you work with um, Kamla sometimes I don't directly work with her she's my boss mm -hmm. but on like sale days and stuff she will be in the store with us working side to side but yeah I work under her there are a number of young ladies around town who don't play any pan, they don't do anything constructive, they just they're climbing. Mm -hmm. If you had to send a message to them, what would it be? I would say you only have one life to live. You don't want to be looking down the road fifty years from now and looking back and saying, Way I should have do this, I should have do that, I should have been more involved. And I mean, it's not a, a bad thing to play pan or to be invested in something. It's a very, it's a positive thing. You're doing something good with your time. You're learning something. You're, you're giving your brain a kind of challenge to get to pick up the music and stuff like that. So I would say it's a, give it a try. It's not for everybody. I know I have some people that would not like it, but it can't hurt to try. Okay, thank you very much. I actually asked you to tell I said, I said, I said, I I was full of food. It was kind of, it was okay, it was a little bit dead. Good, they had a good performance. Hi, I'm Kathleen Parrot. Born and raised in Vista Bella, lovely area of San Fernando, and I've known Junior Regalo for several years. 
Um, for many, many years, I was away living abroad, but upon my retirement, I decided to spend the winters here. In so doing, I became involved with Skipper in 2012, and I always look forward to this time of year when Junior entertains the band, and we spend a great time together on Boxing Day, every Boxing Day, which kind of like brings in the panorama, starts, begins the panorama season for us. I look forward to it. I love my band. Um, it's truly phenomenal when I go back and I look at what Junior has done with this band and how much of a contribution they have made to the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. I really feel happy to have some sort of association with them. Um, I hope I have many, many more years to enjoy them and hopefully I can be as helpful as possible when it comes to helping them out. Uh, I'm going to be really short. I don't have very much more to say other than to wish my band well, to wish them much success and hopefully I'll be around to see them have many more years of that success. Thank you, have a Merry Christmas, a wonderful New Year and enjoy the panorama and the carnival season. Take care, goodbye. Hi, I'm Nicholas Regrillo. I am the son of one of the founding members of Skiffle, Mr. Junior Regrillo, also the mayor of San Fernando. Um, I started playing pan at around, I'd say, 11 or 10. Um, I was a kind of a lazy kid, and I didn't think I could play pan much, and my dad's like, okay, here it is, you come in the pan yard. You already have a choice, you come in the pan yard. He brought me in to this summer plan, to this program we had during the vacation. And I just started from there. In my first panorama when I just started in NAPS in Form 1. I was about 12 at that time. And since then I've been playing. I'm one section leaders for my section. I'm a member of the committee. At about age 7, I told him that I want to be a chef. I did help my mom a lot in the kitchen. Me as one of the players, I was used to be in the kitchen, so I just get a lot of cooking from that. Um, let's say I signed up as soon as I was leaving Form 5, I registered, got in. Um, it was a challenge because it's quite in Chagramas and I live in San Fernando, traveling every day. Sometimes I had to go to class for 7 in the morning. And to reach there, I had to get a job from my father. We had to leave from about 5 before the traffic started. And I literally sleep on one of the desks outside in school until they let us into classrooms. And it's what I had to do. It's the struggle I endure just to do what I love. I graduated last year with my associate degree in culinary management. I worked around for a Bit. and now I am assisting my father currently with a project in City Hall. This is to do with the um, restoring all the um, old records from the um, Paradise Cemetery and Rudolph Cemetery. Just taking all of the what they have from books and Putting onto computers just to update, just to update it, and that's basically it. I'm just someone who doing whatever he can just to make it through each day, and each day learning something different that will carry me on to the future and to the end, I guess. How do you see yourself in the next five, ten years? Five, ten years, playing pan. I'd uh, work with my friends to open an animation studio or have my own restaurant, could be two. But if any of those fail, I know for sure I'm playing fun till, till the end of my time. How do you define an ammunition studio? Animation. It's animation? Yes, animation. Tell us about it. Just my friends and I really like it. Some of my friends. Some of them are actually very talented in drawing and art. We've been messing around a bit and talking to some of the people who are actually in the field. 
you see we have some talent it's an it's a fair it's basically a new field in Trinidad no one's really into it so anyone could so anyone could start so we're like okay let's see where we go with this and we've just been so can I save money it's just uh, kind of a side thing really and truly it's cooking and pan for me okay so if you had to send a message to young fellas who are neither here nor there just like me on the block what would it be find something that you will consider living for that you can consider dying for something you can't live without that one thing you see go for it don't stop don't give up do what you think you should do and once you find that little thing that little purpose it will open so much for you you'll feel like a new person just fill with hope inside thank you very much sir uh, okay thank you very much Hi, good afternoon. I'd like to start off first in saying compliments of the season to one and all. Um, Too loud. My name is Brandon Barb, one of the co-captains of Skiffle Steel Orchestra. Uh, we are here today to celebrate Christmas with friends and family of Skiffle Steel Orchestra. Uh, it's an annual Boxing Day line. We've been doing this for quite some time now. Yeah, about 10, 15 years now. And, you know, it, it, it builds a sense of uh, camaraderie amongst members and friendships, you know, to, to keep the band together as a family, to, to build those core values. And, you know, it's to bring just basically uh, is, is bonding time because at the end of the day we all spend some part of the day together doing what we do what we love which is playing this new part so yeah you know this is just a little get together to create that uh, special bonding and bring us closer together you know, to share in the moments and make memories and that kind of thing, so, yeah. How do you see yourself in the next five, ten years? With regards to the band? Culturally. Ah, for the next five to ten years, I'll definitely, once God provides uh, health and strength, I'll still be playing in the band. Hopefully, have some offspring playing in the band also. You know, to continue the generation of Skiffle, you know, to carry on the flame and I'll keep it going. Is pan pain? What do you do to eat a food? Um, well, apart from pan, I work in the art form um, at the Southern Academy for the Performing Arts. That's better than a Sapa, one of the theatres in San Fernando. Um, for me, it's more about the love of it. The, the, the remuneration aspect is just one more aspect. It, it, it's one of the aspects of it, but I think for me, it, 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 it's, it's more the love. You know, pan is, is, is an escape for me. You know, like, you had a long, hard, stressful day, you go in the pan yard, you forget about all of that. So, for me, it's more than a PD. It actually has taught me a lot of life skills over the years because I've, I've been in the band for over 20 years. And I've seen a lot of things, I've been a lot of places, I've learned a lot of things and so that the, the remuneration aspect is a secondary matter for me I would like to say. And yeah, that's about it. So at Sapper, are you on the technical side or are you on the stage management side or the 
house management side. I'm in the technical side. I'm a lighting technician at South Park. So I deal with anything lighting wise. You would look towards me. Where did you get the skills from? Um, well, it all started, well, of course, playing with Skiffle and the arts, you know, being around. Then I started working in Best Village. Okay. And then Best Village would have events at Napluma Bowl. I have a few friends working there. They said, like, you know, why don't you come and try working in the bowl? And went over to the bowl after Best Village and that was it. Fell in love with that. And from the bowl, went to water supper, and that was it. Okay. So, that's how it all began. Yes. So, you, yeah, you a family man, is it? Yes, I am. I am. My, my wife is in, inside, and I have a daughter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, goodbye, farewell. See okay. you later. Nice having this chat with you. Same here. Okay. All right. Well, good evening, everyone. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas. All of um, God's blessings. Whatever you wish for yourself, I wish for you. My name is Anderson Williams. I am the counselor for Les of West Laramine. I'm also the chair for Tourism and Heritage in the San Fernando City Corporation. On a personal note, other than my political portfolio, I am a public servant. I always address myself and like to portray myself as that. But I am a, a used and foreign used car dealer. I take a lot of pride and joy in what I do, supplying the public with um, affordable cars. I've always been involved in charity and to use. From a young age, I took after a lot of what my dad do, community service. Just basically being in and around, helping anybody that needs help. It really enriches my life and um, you can say it's a passion of mine. I, just like you, I'm a human being. I thank God for life and all his blessings. And I try to give back because I consider myself very blessed. So I want to pass these blessings on to um, each and every one. Now is the time of the year that we choose to reflect on the year that has passed. To me, I can say nothing but thank God has been a wonderful year. The people I work around, I work with, I appreciate them very much. I consider myself very fortunate to work alongside them and especially the community I serve. I'm very blessed to serve that community because they're very supportive. In the coming year, I wish for all nothing but the best. And like I always say, I wish you all that you wish yourself. May 2018, we are pros very, um, productive, prosperous, healthy this? new year for each and every one. And may we push forward together, unified, big and better things for each and every person. Councillor, you strike me to be a very determined person. Now, you don't give up. This is not your first attempt at no, politics. Not. When did it all start? Well, I, I, I appreciate the question and it started, you can see almost right here, we are the residents of his worship and he was the person very um, instrumental into bringing me the political realm. Like I said, I was involved in NGOs and assisting and I spoke, I was speaking at a fundraiser time and um, at the time he held the portfolio as MP and he approached me, he said, young man, I like your views, what you speak about, why don't you um, get involved? I started the Youth League, the San Fernando Youth League, uh, seven years ago. When that's where I grew from, um, the chairman of the Youth League, I moved on to the um, deputy chairman of the National Youth League, and then eventually I was approached to go up as a councillor, to, to fight the seat, you should say, for Leslie for West Laramine. I was unsuccessful in winning that seat, fell short by 23 votes. But it did not break my heart, nor my spirit, and I just I saw room for improvement and to push forward. And thank God, as you would know, a year ago, election bell rang and we were victorious. Yes. Councillor, there are a lot of guys, young fellows, your age and younger than your age, who are just hanging around the block. Mm -hmm. Idle, seem ambitionless and what would you say to them if you had an encounter with them? Well, I'm going to speak as if I was speaking to you face to face. Guys, young men, young ladies, idols ha idle hands are the devil's tools. Don't wait to be given responsibilities. Go out and ask for them. Service the man and service to the God. There are many things you can do with yourself and every minute or one day wasted is a day that you will never get back. 
you can be so much more than you ever could think about because your destiny and fate lies in your own hands. Go out there and be who you could be. Push forward, be a part of a productive society. And you'll shock yourself, you make your parents proud, you make every single person that cares about you proud. And remember this, even no matter how bad you think the situation is, God has a plan for you. And you are part of your own destiny and faith. And you and you alone can do it. And there are many people out there that would love to push and assist you in being the greatest person that you can be. Thank you, Councillor. Well, it has been a pleasure speaking with you. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Have a good night. Good evening, everyone. Season's greetings. Speak loud. Merry Christmas to you and your family from myself and my family. I hope that you do get what your heart desire and what you wish for yourself. I would wish what I would want for me for my for yourself as well. Love, prosperity, everything like that. My name is Johannes Stuart Ryan. I am the alderman for the city of San Fernando. I am also the youngest alderman for the city of San Fernando. I am 32 years of age. My journey started from a very young age. I was pretty much focused on anything that I set my mind to. At a very young age, I went into the martial arts field and at age eight or nine, I came out with three world gold and a bronze, represented the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago on the world stage. Yes, a young gentleman like myself came back and made TNT proud. With that, I went on and I gained academic excellence. I am a holder of an Associate of Arts, Honours, a Bachelor's of Pharmacy, Honours, and an International Master's of Business Administration, Honours. I am a very quiet but focused individual. I my father and my mother, very humble people. My father spent his entire life serving the community, point of their constituency, right? He owns a pharmacy, Drugs Will Limited. I work with him and I must say thank you to my roots, right? They brought me up showing that equality amongst all, right? You help anyone that you can and do not look for anything in return. And I would always say, you know, everyone, some people I have heard say that they carry on this journey, life alone. You know, there are people in your life that you can reflect on who has either given you good advice, who have built you in some form. And I think you should give credit to them as much as I give credit to every single person. I did not achieve this journey and I have not come this far alone. With all the academic accomplishments, sporting accomplishments, my recent accomplishment was the political portfolio of the youngest alderman for the city of San Fernando. I'm also the chair for the public health division in San Fernando. But my biggest accomplishment to know that I have al always been a different in person in the sense that it was shown to me uh, Last year, September 9th, 2016, I had a serious accident. It was, well, I was pronounced dead. Um, and I wasn't at fault or anything. And my mother and my father and my friends and everyone got the news. And I think when, my, when I reached up in the hospital, there were over 500 plus people before I even reached in the hospital. And all hope was gone all hope was gone and some people said their farewells and everything like that and there was a nigerian doc doctor dr Abuli, young guy and in front of everyone i came back you can see my head that tells a story and i came back all right no one knows how i mean people say it's a miracle but christ isn't a miracle once you believe in him and you serve him, to serve people is to serve God. And I must say, 
it's a checks and balance system to know that what I've been doing in my younger years came back to me when I least expect it. I am back here, I'm even more focused than before on building everything. Country, myself, people, as long as a day goes by and I can make one person smile, I think that makes my day very rewarding. With that, um, for this season, right, uh, I, I'm seeing people, they come out, they're getting their stuff, they're getting what they need and not what they want, right, and, but I'm seeing a lot of unity, right, love, care, respect, and it's like the old days that I always heard about, it's coming back, and I appreciate it, to actually say good morning, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of these things are really, really nice that you actually see it. You could stand, you can have a conversation, you don't even know the individual next to you. But I guess this is the reason for living it. It makes you smile, it makes you purposeful. And as a young man, I could say the best feeling to know that when I wake up in the morning and I say my prayers before I even go outside, to know that I have a duty to fulfill, it makes me very purposeful and makes me elated so when i come back home you know it's it's very rewarding i don't look for things in return it comes back to you we all know this but don't look for it my wish for 2018 and beyond for myself and what i wish for myself i wish for everyone else great health great strength god above all always remember that god above all and achieve make headway in achieving your heart's desire and before you even know it you have well moved beyond that and going on to a next level i myself am living proof of that and that's as much as i can say about that at this point in time thank you sir okay i'm alderman thomas maxine thomas i am uh, sitting all the man at San Fernando City Corporation, where I am also the chairman of the personal department. Personnel, 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 where I see about employment, um, also dealing with the different departments of San Fernando City Corporation and dealing with persons in and around the corporation. Uh, a little about myself, I'm a young businesswoman, um, very young, um, in the business also, where I have met a lot of business people, the, person, the, the direction and business that I'm in, I deal with a lot of business people, be it small, large, medium, any size in San Fernando. So I have a pretty good idea of what the, what the business people would think and what they would want in San Fernando and what they would like to see in, in the city of San Fernando. So that's a little synopsis of myself. Well, the man, if you had to send a message to a number of young ladies who are just there, appear to have no interest in anything at all, what would it be? Well, I have a young daughter and every day I tell her reach for the stars. I, we shouldn't have any boundaries in the sense that whatever you wish for, you can achieve with hard work. That's one thing that I would like young people, even young people on the whole and young ladies, because you can achieve many things. You can't, don't be, um, not bogged down, but stay at one stage or be stagnant and say, well, you can't achieve. We can achieve anything that we would like to have. As a young lady, as a lady, as a young person, you can. Is there anything in life that you have not achieved, but would like to achieve sometime in the future? Not at this moment. I think at this point in time in my life, I have um, not achieved my goals, but 
I have reached to a point in my life where I have worked and worked towards where I have reached um, and at this point in time I have to work on myself a little more and work to achieving some more things but at this point in time I have reached where I would have liked to reach at this age. So you're jamming stiff? Yes I am. Okay thank you very much it was nice having a conversation with you all. Thank you very much and season greetings and compliments and happy new year to each and every one of you. Bye. Yeah, I'm going to be
Jedna 